It is November 2nd. That means it's Saturday. And I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, it's been a really fun time for me. I must tell you that I've had the best, best Halloween and best birthday I've had. And I can't remember when this was, this was awesome. I, I really got a lot of cards and I wanted to finish the birthday thing today because I got some more cards yesterday when I went to the post office. I mean, um, Friday, was it Friday? Yesterday, right. So, there are some people that I wanted to thank. And then I'll be done with it, I promise. I promise. This one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I got a beautiful card and um, a little gift. And this is the card. It's so pretty. It says, Blooms. Bloom, it says... You are amazing, and it's from Next Chapter. That's her handle, Gail. She's from North Carolina. And uh, she says, May your birthday be full of fun, love, and laughter. God bless you, your year, and your life. And um, just thank you for sharing your channel with us on YouTube. You are an example of strength. Thank you. And courage to so many women out there who have lived the single life, not by chance. Not by choice, excuse me, but through challenge. And you have risen above it. Thank you for your honesty and your passion for art and your babies. I thank you very much. That's really kind of you. Thank you, Gail. Love it. And um, I'll be going to Abilene because I, I have a couple of gift cards. Uh, one from She gave me one from um, Target. And I think I'm going to go get myself a... Uh, maybe like a really nice long ja long sweater jacket. <clears throat> I'm not sure yet. Okay, this one is... Let's see. Okay, this is from Paula. It's a beautiful card. And she's basically sent me a wonderful letter in regards to um, just... I don't want to say it because it's like tooting my own horn, but thank you. The words were very sweet. Okay, and I also got this one. Trick or treat yourself. It's your day. This is from Franny. Hope you. this is your best Halloween birthday yet. And it really, it really was. Thank you, Franny. And she sent me a little gift also, which so cool. I love you guys. You were so special. I really made it made me feel so special. Like I mean, because I didn't. We didn't really. We went out to dinner and went to the casino like um, I had planned. But that was about it. I mean, you know, around here. So it, I just kept getting stuff in my post office box, and it was uh, it was amazing. I loved it. This is a gorgeous card too. Look, it's got little. Well, kind of, they look like beads almost. Happy birthday. And this is from a wonderful friend of mine who did visit here. And she's got a channel. It's um, Jones RV Adventure. And um, she lives in Florida. And she gave me a gift certificate to go to Red Lobster. So I have a, uh, a dermatology appointment coming up in about a week so i'm gonna kathy wants to go with me of course and we'll go to lunch at red lobster and it's just as sweet as can be a wonderful note to me and thank you joan thank you guys but that was that was a wonderful wonderful surprise she is she came here to visit like about a year ago and stayed a f quite a few days and we Really had a good time together. I miss her. Okay, this one is okay. This is um, Tonda. She sent me a package. This is the birthday card she sent. And basically, she says, You've brought joy and laughter to my life ever since I started watching your videos. Keep being happy and enjoying life. 
and I'll enjoy it right along with you, Tonda. Happy birthday from Ohio. And she sent me a little gift, of a few things. She sent me a little, um, like a towel for the kitchen and a new pot holder, which I could use. Thank you. And she sent me a birthday ribbon, which I'll have to save it because I'm no longer the birthday girl. And a sweet little plaque, which I got to find the right place for. And it says, so grateful and so blessed. And I am. Thank you, Tonda. Very kind of you to think of me. Very sweet lady. And I mean, these are all came, these all came yesterday. This was from... Oh, man. I just love this one. Okay, this is from Diane. And she wrote me a poem and sent me a little letter and a little gift. But here's what... The, I want to read the poem to you because she wrote it for me. You know, it's, it's all typewritten. Let me see if I can get you to see it. Happy birthday. October moon, it turns to orange. And spooky critters start their forage. When that cold tide does start to ebb, you must beware, my dear friend Deb. When sounds of chains do fill the air, gives all a fright and such a scare. Then ghostly beings knock at your door, sending shivers to your very core. Jack-o'-lanterns that glow so bright, they show the way on that dark night for little children everywhere it's such a great fun for those who dare by J diane and she wrote it this last this october very cute i love your note too and um just sweet wishes for a wonderful birthday and i had a, a wonderful birthday I also got this. <laughs> it's a lot of cards. I'm going to have to count them all. This is from Debbie, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Carolina, A special day, a special person, a special wish, wish for the happiest birthday ever. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. I mean, Debbie. I already forgot my own name. And I got two more. This one... And it says, happy birthday from Peggy. Hope you have a wonderful day. I've enjoyed watching you and your girls so much. You always make my day brighter. Be well, be happy, be safe. Wishing you sunshine and flowers on your special day, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you so much. Last but not least... This is another handmade card, I can tell. It's really cool. I'll show it to you. Okay, and it says, Happy Birthday. And then you open it up. Look at that. Isn't that something? It's all... It looks handmade. Totally handmade. I love it. And uh, this came from Jackie. Jackie from Wichita Falls, so she's a neighbor, just about. Okay, that is the end of my birthday cards that I got, and I wanted to thank you guys again. It's my last time. I'll, I'll, I just wanted to make sure you all know how much I appreciated being thought of, having people take the time to write a little note to me and send me a card, send me a little gifts that are just... They add up, and, and they've really, really helped me. I mean, I, all of it helps. You know, you, psychologically, you know, I feel very uplifted. It was it was fun. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Tonda, Tonda also sent me this. One of those spatulas. Pretty blue. Yep. So I've had a good, I've had a really good weekend. Tonight... Uh, here in Knox City, we did not celebrate Thursday. 
they had two sports games, so they didn't want to have trick-or-treaters when most of the people have, you know, sports to attend. So tonight is Knox City's trick-or-treat night. So we're going to have dinner at, Ka I'm going to have dinner at Kathy's. Um, Mary's coming for dinner and uh, we're having a nice little dinner later. I don't know if I'll take video or not. But if the kids come to the door, I will be videoing some of the costumes and I know our kids are coming. So they've had a good time because they got to go on Thursday to the towns around here that we're, we're giving out candy. So it's a bonus Saturday so trick or treat day. Getting more people. Look, the candy's gone down and sun is setting. Lots of kids out. All the candy's going. It's a trick or treat night for sure. I missed a bunch while they were here. I should have put it on video, but you know, it's hard to get it on video. But you can see them. Yeah, it's a lot. Look at that duck. <laughs> that's a that, that's the kangaroo. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was the best. And the, and the baby that's supposed to be in the pocket is the girl. Like she's in the pocket of the kangaroo. So it's real bigger than her. That's kind of cute. That sunset's pretty. It's a pretty busy night here in uh, Little Knox City, Texas. Chase the roof. Say hello to everybody on YouTube land. <laughs> I know. You told it to turn around. Yeah. Tanny, come here. It's a terrible thing to turn it around. Say hello Hi. to all my friends on YouTube. On the YouTube. Hi, Jaxie. You're gonna be famous some more. Hi. <laughs> You're this so is my, cute. Well, one of my best friends. I have a ton. This is one of my best friends. Jax. Oh, you've you, got so many best friends. Give me that's okay. Only Jimmy, Macy, Jack, Ryan, Zayden. Yeah. Here, yeah. here. here. There you go. take that's this. It's no, wait, it's recording. Come here, you guys. You look beautiful, Jack. Oh, okay, Jack. There's yeah, Bubby I, I, and Tanny, Nana. Yeah. They keep coming. Oh, the yeah, the 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 oh really? Yeah. How many did you have? There you go. It's Halloween here in Knox City, Texas. Yeah. Here we go. Here's my friends. Hey, Tanny, look candy. here. Try Wait, some candy. I want to take a picture. I want to take a picture. Smile nice. Nana, look here. Nana. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Here's some candy. I'll take it. It's good. How you doing? Nice, Chase. You can touch it. I gave them some of this candy. Oh, no. They're going to come over and get you. No one can have this candy because that was for the viewers. Yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. We have. 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 Do not give the butter. Tanny, I already put butter fingers in your basket. I got it. Yucky! I'm actually gonna try a butterfingers. It is Monday afternoon, and I am getting ready to take a drive to Walmart by myself. I wanted to uh, just get out of the house yesterday. I didn't leave the property not one time, so. I'm definitely going to get out of here and take you with me if you like. It's not that much fun, is it, to go to Walmart? But, hey, I've got some birthday money, and I think it's time to buy myself a present. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you on the road. Let's hey there, go. I stopped at the post office, and I got two cards. And I'm going to at least acknowledge them. I really love them. This one in particular comes from Kansas. Her name is Donna. It's a beautiful card. I'm not going to read it all to you out loud, but I read it. And uh, Donna has three chihuahuas and uh, loves animals like me and says that since her mom passed away, she's actually f felt better, you know, coming in and talking in my live chats and listening and just getting through it. Like, you don't get over it. You get through it, though. Uh, I really appreciate the, the intimate letter. And I, I, I really thank you for taking the time out and to, you know, to reach out and talk to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a small world, really. <laughs> and then I got another card. And this one came from Susan. 
Susan Fortney. She has sent me a few things. This card is really cute, though. Check it out. You got your dogs. Little doggies. And then when you open the card... Oh, my nose is running. It's because of the allergies. I come outside. Happy birthday, party animal. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Adorable. Cards that I have to keep. Oh, I'm, and it's hard to keep lots of stuff because I live in such a small space. I have to be, you know... Really, have to think about what I'm keeping. But cards like that, I can't help but keep. And I really, especially people that wrote me letters and talked about um, themselves and how I touch their lives. And man, this has been such an interesting experience sharing this particular birthday with all of you. I've been doing this for four years, but this birthday in particular was just amazing so many cards so many letters gifts cash it's it, it makes my life better i mean I, I i don't think i'd be very happy without my channel to be honest with you i don't know what i did before but before i had a channel i was married and had a husband and you know, was working full time at arts and crafts. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna pull over and put my um, sunglasses on because it's very sunny, very sunny. And I don't get a chance to wear them that often. Let me get them out. Yeah. Perfect day for sunglasses. And I love my sunglasses. Oops. Yeah, that helps. Okay. But right now it's 77. And it feels like about 75 to 80. It's very warm out. What a beautiful day. Yes, indeed. Free fall. Do you see the white along the sides of the road? That's cotton. Cotton's blowing all over the place. Well, I'm finished chopping. And uh, for those of you who gave me a little cash my birthday I just bought um, a really pretty black with sparklies uh, like a long sleeve shirt would be really nice during the holidays and I also got another plaid shirt because I really am enjoying the one I have so thank you thank you everybody it's been a great great birthday anyway I have been thinking a lot about age because you know it was my birthday and all and uh, yesterday I found a woman, I can't remember her name or her channel. I think it's Rockstar Mom, but Rockstar part is abbreviated. I think it's RX Star Mom. Anyway, she is a woman who's got a, a really good channel. And uh, it's all about, she's, I think she's 75 or 76 years old. And she says it out loud and she's proud of it. And she wears her makeup beautifully and she really is a pretty lady and um, I just really it, it kind of hits home because our generation the people that are in their late 60s even mid, mid 60s to mid 80s we're like the 60s generation you know we're the the love generation of the 60s and 70s getting old and I remember thinking back when I was you know like 30 or 20 how cool we would be as older people that we would be the coolest uh, most open-minded older generation ever and I do believe that's true not everybody's that open-minded but in in generally just speaking generally because that's all I can do you know we come from 
the generation where, you know, it was the hippies and it was, uh, you know, freedom and, and, and San Francisco and all those times when people were into love and not war, which, you know, that's what I come from anyway, because nobody ever talks about, you know, women over 65. They really don't. We're like kind of invis invisible. You know, we're not 90, we're not 95, but we're like right in between that, that age, you know, that you're not young for sure. And you're not even middle-aged anymore. And you really appear kind of invisible in general. You're not thought about, you know, and uh, I kind of think it's wrong. I mean, it's sad because I'm getting there myself now and I just, I don't want to stop feeling attractive and feeling good about me and about, you know, where I'm at. And um, I certainly don't feel like a really old lady. Sometimes I feel older than other times. Depends on the day and, you know, how much I've pushed myself to walk or whatever. She's a beautiful lady. She, you know, she shows how she puts her makeup on. And I've seen a few of her videos. I, I'm, I'm subscribed to her. I don't always watch every video that I'm subscribed to because I would never stop watching videos. I mean, it would be nonstop to, to be able to, to really see everybody's videos that I subscribe to. So I kind of pick and choose. That's really the truth. turn the, the, the video camera around so you could see me too in my sunglasses. Um, yeah, so, you know, just getting older and thinking about, you know, the, how big the number is getting and listening to this lady because she was sort of being trolled a little bit about, you know, saying how old she is. But we shouldn't be ashamed of our age. And it feels like sometimes I feel... I don't want to say my age because, you know, people will treat you differently. And, you know, I know that I'm not any different than I was in my 40s, 50s, and, you know, any, in 60s too. I'm the same person. And uh, it's just a number, but, you know, it's just kind of strange how, I don't know how men feel, if men feel the same, but I know I feel... And I think a lot of women my age start to feel invisible. Like, like it doesn't matter if we do dress up or we don't dress up. Or we put makeup on or we don't. Or if we put makeup on, then we're looked upon as someone trying to look younger. And that's not true. I just try to look the best I can look. You know, I'm just one of those people that enjoy makeup. I look okay without makeup, too. It's just, you know, God gave me everything I need, thank God, I, you know, I've got my arms and legs and I can see and hear, speak, but, um, I do like to enhance my own self, you know, in, with makeup, I do, I enjoy putting it on, trying new things, but I, I do feel like my age group starts to get really overlooked, I mean, you, you go to a job and you say you're 65 years old, and Somebody wants that job that's 35 years old or 40 or 25, they're going to get the job. You know, it's not that easy. It's not that easy on people our age. And a lot of us live on Social Security. I live on Social Security, whatever else I can muster up, you know, which I'm fortunate that I even have the channel that I have on YouTube and be able to sell stuff that I make because it gives me the extra money that I just didn't, I didn't put away when I was young. Most artists, most people that play music for a living or, you know, make crafts or art or paint, we're not the best at saving money for future. I know that's me. I never was that good at saving. Like if I have a little extra money, I want to do something. I really do. So I do, you know, and like, Mark and Kathy are going to go to um, Florida, not this week, but I think it's the following Wednesday for a 
about five days to see Mark's grandkids and his two, his son and daughter that live there still. And it's his birthday. Um, he's, he's, I think, November 18th. I think it's 18th. And um, I want to I wanna do something for his birthday. I think I'm going to, before they leave town, I'm going to stick an envelope with a, a birthday card and some cash. Because cash is always fun to get. Especially when you're out of town and, you know, he wants to take his kids out, out for dinner. And he will. But it's, you know, it's costly. And we're all on Social Security, you know. We're just make, just making it. Just all of us. I'm, when I say all of us, I mean Kathy, Mark, me. Yep. I get up in the morning and I say I'm alive. Thank goodness. And then what can I do to be a happy person? That's pretty much what I wanted to say. You know, what can you do every day to be a happy person? To to be enjoying your day, to make someone else feel good, make yourself feel good. What can you do every day? Instead of being down or feeling sick, because we all have our aches and pains. You hit, you hit in your 60s and sometimes before that, of course, in 70s, and you start feeling, you know, your body is older. You can't take what it took when you're in your 30s, 20s. 40s. I was pretty strong all the way through my 50s even, but now in the 60s I feel yeah, I feel like I've gotten uh, physically older. Things just aren't the same as they used to be. Yep. And no one expects to lose their husband or their wife you know, too quickly in their life, but you that's another thing you don't control. We don't control who lives or dies early and late. We just have to live each day as best as we can. Whether it's just relaxing and watching TV and making a good little meal and have some hot tea. Whatever makes you feel good, you know. If it means going out and buying yourself a new top, then you should do it. And... I think my dogs really bring a lot of happiness to me. I'm really glad I have them. And believe me, they, they, they're a lot of money because I buy them real people food. They eat really good. They eat hamburger, chicken, ground turkey, beef with vegetables. I'll give them peas and carrots and string beans or whatever. And, uh, the treats are good treats like I, I like to give them um, it's like two ingredient chicken jerky now and that big bag of chicken jerky lasts me a while but it's $24, $25 so I do that at least once a month sometimes it's more than that every day they get three little chicken jerky pieces that I split up between the two of them that's their breakfast and then during the day after they come in from going pee pee, then um, they might get a couple of hard crunchies or some nutrish, which is also really good um, cookies for them. And then around five or six, they get a real nice little dinner, nice hot meal. I spoil them, why not? They give me a lot of love. So I just wanted to like just kind of chat about feeling good about where we're at in our life whether it's our 70s or 80s or 60s or 40s or 50s doesn't matter what really matters is you know how you feel about yourself and, and if you are you happy and if you're not happy how can you make yourself happier nothing's perfect if I was if, if it was perfect I'd be in a motorhome with my husband, Mark, and my dogs, and we'd be traveling around and finding wonderful weather, maybe camp hosting to meet people, but that's not what happened, you know, and, and so I have to do with what happened. I have to, you know, make the best out of it. 
make the very best out of it. And I try. I do. We all have our good days and we have bad days. I generally feel pretty good, though. I, you know, it's kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Like, I, I say I'm lonely sometimes or alone. Aloneness I am sometimes. But sometimes I find, I'm fine like that. I, you know, life is full of changes. We just kind of constantly change. Ebb and flow, you know. Good days, medium days. I try not to have too many bad days because that doesn't help. So, anyway, I thought I would share that with you guys and uh, just talk to you while I'm driving home from Walmart. There's a big old farm vehicle in front of me right now and we're going through this little town. So I can't go fast anyway. Thanks for watching, though. I know you probably uh, can relate to a lot of what I'm saying. It's nothing new. <laughs> <coughs> but if you're feeling in, in, invisible and if you're feeling like nobody looks at you when you go out anyway, do it for yourself. You know, put on a little lipstick. Put on whatever makes you feel happy. Put on some eyebrows and whatever. You don't have to overdo it. Just a little. It does a lot. It does. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.